Hello, my Banda crew, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Hyper Tom Moose, and I release Crash Bandicoot content every week. We discuss lore, theories, news, we do tier lists and interviews, and I also have a Crash Bandicoot podcast. Today's topic, we are going to do a little news story about Crash Bandicoot 5 and why I'm saying it is not cancelled. If you are completely out of the loop, let me show you where this entire story has stemmed from and has snowballed off of. Nicholas Cole is an artist who worked on Crash Bandicoot 4, and he recently made a post on Twitter that says, Well... Our cancelled project of the last three years is officially truly dead as of today. Internal attempts to save it failed, and the embargo on the whole body of portfolio work has been lifted. Rest in peace, Project Dragon. Brace yourselves for the largest ever art bomb of work I loved. And then Daniel replies, if this is Spyro, I'm going to be the most pissed off man who ever lived. Nicholas replies, it is not Spyro, but someday folks will hear about the Crash 5 that never was, and it's going to break hearts. So the way that it is worded confused people to think that Project Dragon and, Sp and Crash Bandicoot 5 are one and the same, but that is not the case. If you just Google Nicholas Cole Project Dragon, you'll be shown tons of artwork, all of it, clearly showing that it is not Crash Bandicoot 5. I don't know why Nicholas worded it the way he did. That's where the confusion came from. Project Dragon and Crash Bandicoot 5 are two separate things. So, the three years of development time that was being put onto this project ended, quote-unquote, two months ago. So even if they were working on a Crash Bandicoot 5, it would have only been two months into development. And that is not the case. We know that after Crash Team Rumble was released, that Toys for Bob went indie, and now they are working on a Spyro game. They are a small group of people now, so they're not going to be working on two different projects. They're just working on the new Spyro project. Whatever future installment of the Crash Bandicoot series that is coming out, whether it be a Crash Bandicoot 5 or a Crash Bandicoot 8 or another spinoff, it's not in development right now. And if it's going to be by Toys for Bob, it won't be out or it won't start until the Spyro game that they're working on is done. And from what we've been told, the Spyro game won't be coming out until at earliest 2026. And games nowadays take between two to three years to make. So at the earliest, the absolute earliest, if Toys for Bob is making the next installment in Crash Bandicoot, we shouldn't expect to see it until 2028. So that's about four years from now, at the earliest, that we should see a Crash Bandicoot game. So the project that Nick is talking about, Nicholas is talking about, is not Crash Bandicoot 5. He's just talking about releasing art of what he would have had for a future Crash Bandicoot installment. He said the, the, the fandom saying Crash Bandicoot 5 is cancelled. A version of Crash Bandicoot 5 may not come out. Nicholas Cole's version of Crash Bandicoot 5 that he drew pictures for most likely will not come out, but that doesn't mean that the entire project the future of the Crash Bandicoot franchise is cancelled. Crash Bandicoot 5 isn't cancelled because Crash Bandicoot 5 isn't even in development. You can't cancel something that isn't out yet. So, hopefully this video gets circulated because I see a lot of clickbaity stuff. We got a lot of articles popping up online. A lot of videos being like, Oh no, Crash Bandicoot is cancelled. Crash Bandicoot is in a good place right now. If another company comes up to Microsoft and says, we want to make a Crash Bandicoot game and they pitch it, I'm sure we can get a spinoff, or we might even get a Crash Bandicoot 5 from another company that isn't Toys for Bob. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Yes, we'd have to get a whole new, like, probably character designs and, and new uh, 
engine and stuff. But I think Crash is in a good place right now. Crash Bandicoot 4 sold insanely well, no pun intended. The Insane Trilogy continues to sell well. Crash Bandicoot is making good money. Microsoft knows what they're doing. And we will get a Crash Bandicoot game in the future. I am 99.9% positive. So don't worry, guys. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when Crash Bandicoot 5 or Crash Bandicoot Future title comes out. So I hope I educated you guys. And please, please, please spread this video around so people can see it. I don't have the largest following i'm not like canadian guy a so if you like this video share it with your friends and we'll see you in the next one take care